the headlines. NPA attacks on Philippine tribe in Mindanao, 17 arrested. Firings of Taiwanese vessels versus PCG, one kill. Taylor Swift talks about how the all too well 10 minute version came about. Arvin Santos, Jade to Batang Pier. Bringing you the hottest news from yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is Fatima El Asanza, and this is Kyle Gabriel Pidigala, reporting, reporting from Standing News, news Report. Report. Good afternoon, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Tribal village of White Colaman and Mountain Province got raided by the Philippine Army due to multiple attacks. The tribe decided to denounce the CPP and PA in all its courage. Kim Thay Albenia has the news. Army raided the White Colaman village, 17 people arrested. The tribe decided to denounce the CPP and PA and all its cohorts. The trust between the CPP and PA was broke due to endless new firing attacks of the rebels last night. No one was hurt in the sudden incident. Army secured the protection of the whole village because of some attacks that might happen again. Rendering only the best news coverage, Kim Thea Obenya reporting for Sunday News Report. For the international news, Taylor Swift revealed how her song All Too Well came to be. She went on and revealed more about her newly released song in an interview. Jaron Madrana has the news. Taylor Swift celebrated the release of Red Taylor's version for stopping by both NBC's The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and Late Night with Seth Meyers on Thursday. In The Tonight Show, she opened up to Fallon about how she made her song All Too Well roughly 10 years ago. She said that the song was recorded way back when she was going through sad times while rehearsing for a Speak Now tour. So I started playing guitar and just kind of playing the same four chords over and over again and I just started. Kind of the band started joining in and I started ad loving. She also revealed this. The song just went on for about 10 to 15 minutes of doing this and then we got done with that and then we moved on to regular schedule rehearsal. According to Swift, the improvised session was retained thanks to her mom, who secretly approached the sound guy, asking if he recorded the session, and he did. The 10-minute version of All Too Well is what was originally written for the song before I had to cut it down to a normal-length song, because that's, you know. Later on Late Night, Mears asked Swift about the people who might think that they're the ones she's singing about in red, wondering if it's easier for them to hear the songs now as she releases the re-recorded versions, or far worse. Rendering only the best news coverage, this is Jaren Medrana from STEM D News Report. Ah, Bakada. Ah, ako si Ana. Mga alaalang dumikit sa aking isipan. Mga pagkakataong kasama ang aking mga kaibigan. Himno ay sinasatinig sa harap ng sintang paaralan, sabay si inita ng kamay na nasa unahan. Ba, bakit pa kailangan to magbago ang lahat? Si Pepe tumigil at nagsakripisyo nang dumatal ang pagkakataong lahat ay tila'y bumagal. Ka, kaya ko ba? Kakayanin ko ba ang pagsubok na dala ng banda niya? Da, dala ang tanan ng aking mga guro na katataas sa skin isipan ay pagyayabong sa makabagong paraan. Ako. 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 Kami ay lilipad at ipatitingad sa dalang subyang ng pandanya. One Taiwanese fisherman died after the Philippine Coast Guard opened fire. Kim Thea Benya has the news. One Taiwanese fisherman was killed when a Philippine Coast Guard vessel opened fire on Taiwanese fishing vessel while purportedly entering Philippine maritime boundaries. Tensions between Taiwan and Philippines are rising as Taiwanese President Ma Ying-ju treated the Philippines with sanctions a day after the incident. 
The Philippine Coast Guard expresses sympathy for the victim but refuses to apologize for the event, insisting that its members are only carrying out their duties in combating illicit fishing. Rendering only the best news coverage, Kim Taya of Benya reporting for Standy News Report. Some basketball fans chat about the sudden trade between the veteran player Arwin Santos, Zyra J. Novelia on the court side. San Miguel Beerman dealt one of its greatest player, Arwin Santos, to Northport Batang Pier, Thayer Vic Manuel. Basketball fans' astonishment when PBA Commissioner's Office approved the one-on-one -on -one deal this Monday, November 8th. The veteran player will make a new chapter of its career under a young Northport squad. Since there is a lot of questions running around on the internet, let's answer that with the one and only, the Spider-Man, Arvin Santos. Hi Arvin! Dadaretso na kita since there is a lot of things happening right now. Kamusta naman ang isang Arvin Santos after what happened? Siyempre, una malungkot na kabigla. Nagulat ang... ang lahat. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko sa asawa ko, hindi madali ang buhay ng basketbolista. Hindi namin control, hindi namin alam kung ano pang pwedeng mangyari. Siyempre, mabigat pa lahat. It's a shocking trade after all because you had a great name under San Miguel. So, ano naging reaction mo? Naging reaction nyo ng asawa mo after what happened? Nung sinabi sa akin ng management, andun din sina Coach Leo at iba pang mga boss, siyempre, hindi mo na napag-react at napaisip, bakit ako? Pero sabi naman nila, para sa ikabubuti ng team. So, wala na ako magagawa. Basta para sa team. Last thing, Arwin, any message para sa mga supporters? Wala akong masabi. Sobrang thankful na kasi naging part ako ng San Miguel. Sa mga nagtitiwala sa akin dyan, maraming salamat sa mga fans. Maraming salamat din. Kahit anong mangyayari. Kahit sa mapunta, basta laro lang. Salamat. Good day everyone, I'm Lance, your daily dose of facts. This time, we are going to talk about how this first female person won two Nobel Prizes. Do you have any guess who is it? Yes, it is Marie Curie. Until now, Marie Curie is still regarded as one of the most influential scientists of all time. Her achievements are even more impressive in a field that was completely dominated by men until late in her life. She is still the only person to have received two Nobel Prizes in two different fields of science. Now, let us discover how did she make it. I guess it runs in the family. Now you know. Again, I'm Lance, your daily dose of facts. SB19 Bazinga made it to the top in Billboard Hot Chinese Song Chart. SB19 just hit another milestone in time for the third anniversary. On November 26, Friday, the award-winning pop group SB19 topped the Billboard Hot Chinese Chart with their flexible single Bazinga. So many things are lined up for SB19 round up 2021 and we can't wait to see what else is coming. Back to studio. Typhoon Niato will not enter the Philippine area of responsibility or PAR with wind speeds of up to 1,645 km northern Luzon. Wind gusts of 175 km per hour up to 215 km per hour northern eastward at a speed of 25 km per hour. It has strengthened slightly but will possibly exit the country in the following days until finally weakening. Nonetheless, the so-called trap still brings cloudy skies and a little rain to Palawan and Mindanao. Amihan or Northeast Monsoon prevails in the zone and Visayas, rendering only the best news coverage. This is Rose Marie de Castro from Stanley News Report. You have to share the latest news around the globe. News with no bias. News with no exception. Delivering nothing, nothing but the truth. truth. This has been Fatima Asanza and Calder Yaldigala bringing the hottest news around the globe. Thank you for being with us. <laughs>